Hey y'all, this is Battle Me is Balmari back at you with another video. So I want to talk about the most mysterious Goku of them all. End of GT Goku. A hundred year time skip Goku. Now, a lot of people don't really know what happened to him at the end of GT when he combined with the Dragon Balls. But I think it's pretty obvious that at the end of GT, Goku became a god. That's that's it. An actual god. Not this whole god key bullcrap that goes on in Super. He's an actual god at the end of GT. Now we know that Saiyans age slowly. And in GT, we would say Goku had the body of a 12 year old. And Pan was around that age as well. So when Pan aged, she was about 112 in Dragon Ball GT at the end of GT. She was about 112 and she damn sure looked old. Yet Goku didn't look a day over 30. And Goku is about, uh, his body should be about around 112 years old. So that in itself shows that he has prolonged life. You know, you can compare it to other gods like, say, the Kais. You know, they have long life and they look young. Look at Kaoshin. They look young. And it's safe to say that Goku has achieved godhood. And, you know, we've seen Goku grow up. Yeah, they grow rather slow, but they grow. They do grow. So at the age of 112, Goku would definitely be showing something. And he hasn't shown anything. He still looks in excellent shape. And we also know, as far as feats go, that he can jump dimensions. He could leap in and out of dimensions. We saw it at um, in the uh, Dragon Ball GT movie, A Hero's Legacy, where he was able to come down and actually interact with Goku Jr. And he was able to see Goku. So he's not just coming in a ghost form. You actually see him. And he doesn't have a halo on it on his head. So he's actually in physical living form. And we see this again at the uh, World Martial Arts Tournament where Pan noticed Goku in the crowd. And as he was leaving, people were like moving out of his way. So wherever Goku is, he's able to leap from that dimension to the real, to our dimension, in and out, like whenever he pleases, it seems like. Like he doesn't have to make a pat to come. He can just go as he pleases. And I don't believe Goku became Shenlong himself because he tells Goku Jr. that you have to get all the seven Dragon Balls for them to work. Meaning I believe that Shenlong will still show up. But I think Goku more became a guardian of the Dragon Balls seeing as how they combined with him. I think he's more of a guardian. More of, you know, to be sure that the overuse of the Dragon Balls doesn't happen again. He was there to protect that. So he's more of a a safeguard for the Dragon Balls to be sure that they don't beat, they're not overused like they once were and won't get corrupted again for the Shadow Dragons to show back up. Because apparently that's the second time that the dragons showed up according to Mr. Popo. Because he said that they uh, appeared once before and destroyed the cosmos of the planet that they were on. So it's happened before. And I believe this Goku is there to protect that from happening because remember the dragon balls were gone for a while and trunks told pam they were gone for the, it's like a test for the humans to rely on their own power rather than the dragon balls and power wise i mean come on we know how strong this dude was at the beginning of gt we know how strong he was during gt just imagine a hundred years later you know Goku ain't one to sit on his ass and not train, so come on. How strong do you think this guy is? I mean, it's not even calculable. I mean, the dude is, he's the strongest Goku. Now, as far as Zeno and all that stuff goes, I don't know because, like I said, end of GT, Goku really hasn't done much power-wise. We know he can skip dimensions, but feet-wise, as far as power goes, we don't know. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a mystery. As far as that goes, it's a mystery. I'm a little disappointed he didn't have his tail anymore. That would have been awesome, but, you know, it's a mystery. So, does he still have Super Saiyan 4? I don't know. I mean, once you achieve Super Saiyan 4, do you still need your tail? That's a mystery in itself there. So, we don't know. But, 
you know, this Goku is the strongest. He solos pretty much anything. Super isn't even in the question. He, they get destroyed. The only ones that can probably be comparable to 100 time your skip Goku is Xeno. This is Xenoverse. And I don't really know much about them, but, you know, we all know they're OP. So let me know what y'all think about in the GT Goku and what you think happened to him and where he actually is. I don't know if any of you guys have seen Dragon Ball AF, but Toyotaro had it that Goku made a pact with Shenlong and he went to the dragon, the dragon realm to train and he's up there with PyCon and stuff like that. I mean, it was a pretty cool idea, but yeah, let me know what y'all think.